Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. My name is David Rodriguez. Behind me, you are seeing a 2022 LED photo booth. Before I blast off into this video, I wanna send shout outs to Michelle Mendoza. She was about to book a one-on-one -on -one with me so that I can go over the details of my brand new investment. Michelle, I'm gonna save you some money, girl, all right? So let's go, let's go and go over the details some of the specifics, some, some, some of the things that I like and some of the things that I feel like mm, could need some improvement, right? Let's start off with cost, right? So with cost, as far as how much money I spent on this asset, I see this thing as an asset because at the end of the day, it's an investment. And this here will bring you in money on a weekly basis, for sure on a monthly basis. It just depends how often you're booking, how well you're marketing your services. Keyword, marketing. Um, I spend less than $900 to have this beautiful LED photo booth shipped directly to my door here in the United States. I reside here in California. Yes, under $900, I was able to acquire this beautiful piece of equipment that's gonna bring in money, that's gonna help me expand my business. That's what we're in business for, is to scale and grow as business owners. So with that being said, I wanna let you guys know that this specific booth I bought from Cindy. The In the description box, you will find her link and also the other supplier that I have, Jeremy, they also provide this model. But for me, what I ended up doing is, I ended up asking them both, hey, what price can I get, and blah, blah, blah. And for me, as a business owner, I'm always going to go with the individual who offers the best price, best warranty, and best communication overall. So, shout out to Cindy on this one. Thanks, Cindy, for hooking me up. A lot of you guys have started your business. One, because of the, this channel showed you how to buy overseas and buy stuff at wholesale. And also, you guys know that if you guys deal with Cindy, she's just great. She's a great communicator. Anyways, dive back into the details. I'm going to remove the phone from my tripod, and I'm going to circle back, and I'm going to show you how the back looks, and I'm also going to show you guys the different pieces that it takes to make this booth. If you're wondering, David, how long does this booth take to assemble? It takes less than five minutes. Really that quick. Some of you guys said, David, how were you able to acquire such high-quality photos using an iPad? And that's a great question. Before I invested into this booth, I was trying to look for a iPad that had at least a 12 megapixel front facing camera. The iPad Air 5th generation is one of the few iPads that's gonna give you a 12 megapixel camera right over here. In addition to that, you wanna know the settings and things like that. Well, the settings are left as is. I am using Snapic, by the way, before we move on, just a quick plug. Remember, guys, that in the description box below, there is a link to Snapic, which gives you 10% off. However, if you guys don't want to commit to a subscription yet, the cool part is that Snapic does offer a seven-day free trial. It gives you a chance to explore it and see how creative you can get with the app. All right, let's get back into the video. The application to power up my photo booth, both my 360 booth and my photo booth right here. Now for the lighting guys, I always stress lighting all the time. I had two RGB lights, one on this side and one on this side inside the inflatable white enclosure cube that I also recently bought. So my most recent purchases guys, an inflatable enclosure uh, measures eight by five all the way around. iPad Air fifth generation, which I purchased on eBay and got warranty on it. And then this beautiful, cool booth that I'm excited to use um, for the rest of the year into the next year, especially during graduation times. Man, guys, it's gonna be a good time for us. We just gotta hang in there. I know sometimes you have your slow weeks or slow months, but it's okay, it's okay. That's why when you're jumping into this business, it's good to jump into this business because you know that this is gonna supplement your primary income. Now, what's gonna happen is as you start to scale and you become more popular and you start networking, things will start shifting around and this, the photo booth rental business might be your primary source of income. Things can shift, things shifted like that for me during this year. I started this business in late February, 2022. Just to guys, uh, just if you're watching this video and you don't know, now you know, homie, okay, cool. So let me grab the phone here from the iPod, uh, tripod here, okay? So this is how the back looks, all right? So I wanna start off with the top here. The LED light, of course, is on the very top. There is a cable that runs from the LED into this opening right here. It goes inside and it goes all the way down until this uh, little power strip uh, you'll see right there. Okay, and that power strip, I'm able to connect that and then it has an extra USB uh, outlet there for the iPad. Now, I'm running the cable from right inside here, this blue cable is connected to the iPad charging port, which is great because one of the things I kept on thinking about is what if I get booked for four hours plus and my iPad runs out of juice? Well, 
the supply the, the supplier the manufacturer thought of that so they're able to leave enough room for us to have a cable connected also running straight down all the way to the base and down here so that while this is turned on connected to a power source the the iPad is actually charging and it's all these uh, you get all these lights <clears throat> You guys can see right here that the iPad is at 62%. Uh, another cool thing is um, whatever supplier you decide to go with, uh, they both are going to offer your logo. For me, I decided to have my logo here and my QR code right here so that anyone can scan that QR code. It's going to take them directly to my photo booth website. Now, say you're at an event, right, and you're about to put this thing together. It's broken down into these parts. The bottom base is one part. The bottom base is connected to this part. All you have to do is put five screws that sit below this base. And then from here, the second part, I'm sorry, one, two, the third section right here is only held down by these two screws, one, two. And you can use a drill gun for this or you can just use a regular screwdriver to get these on here, all right? So there's one, two, three so far. And then your fourth part is right here, this uh, C looking, uh, shape part here has one two three four screws that's uh, holding on to this and then the very last part is the head now the head is uh, being held by this part by only one two three four screws and that's it what I like about it is if depending on the height or the angle right here I can manipulate this by pulling this back and make this iPad of course look this way now I can bring it down this way as well just like that and I can also tilt it this way or that way just like this right if I need to and this is nice and firm so it doesn't move too easily all right I just make it look easy because I'm super strong yep that's me straight cheesing and so that's the back part now one thing that's really cool too guys is you can drop this off at an, at an event right it say your iPad doesn't have a sim card that's totally fine what you can do is you can grab your mobile hotspot Put it right in here right and then close this and now everything is inside here is secured because you get keys to go along with these doors and if you're going to be gone for extra long what you can do is you can actually attach a power bank to your mobile hotspot and put both pieces right in here and then you set it and forget it exactly so we're going to go ahead and put this back right here okay what else can i show you guys right down here you have your power cable that powers all uh, all the lights okay right here and then you have one two uh, ex extension cords with their um, I believe this is somewhat work kind of acts as a capacitor um, so there won't be any shorts that's how it looks from the back what's really cool guys and um, I'm always experimenting is this check this out I'm gonna turn this off I'm gonna come around right over here and unplug it and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my anchor that's sitting over here and I can actually connect the digital booth to my anchor and my anchor will power up my entire booth. Let me go. I'm using one hand trying to do this for you. Let's see. Oh, man, I got my freaking finger, yo. But that's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. It's connected to my anchor right now. And what I like about the anchor is this, guys. By the way, uh, most of the stuff that I use, guys, is listed in the description box below. I know a lot of you guys are going to ask me uh, what model it is or where can I get it. Uh, yeah, I made it really easy. So just go to the description. You'll you'll see Anchor. This is the same model I'm using. So right now, currently, the iPad, along with the rest of the photo booth, is pulling 39 watts. And I love this because it calculates. That means that I have <clears throat> I have 4.8 hours of life if I keep this at 39 watts. So that, that right there already tells you exactly how long you can go on without needing to uh, recharge this or switch it to, an, to a power outlet. So that's one beautiful thing about the Anchor. Uh, it really keeps you mobile. But most places that you go to, guys, will provide you with power directly from the wall. Okay, that's one thing. Uh, what's another thing that I can cover with you guys? Um, this right here comes in a flight case and this is the size of the flight case right over here I would highly highly recommend you guys get the flight case 
with this type of photo booth. I do not recommend the flight case if you go with this type of booth because this thing is gargantuous. Oh man, this thing's heavy. I don't like it. In fact, it's better if you go with one of these cool pouches. So I have one right here and I have one right over there. And you know, this is my third one right here. But let's go ahead and focus on the flight case because it's small enough to put in a Camry, a Honda. If it's almost in any car, uh, if you guys want to know in the mentions, I'm ready for you. Let's go ahead and reach for this tape right over here and measure it. So from the bottom to the top, we're sitting at about 22 inches and then wide, 28 inches. All right, well, if you guys want to be extra uh, technical, we'll do the top as well, eight inches. So yeah, you can fit a couple of these in your car, which is something that I really want to talk about, guys, but I think I'm going to leave it for another video. I want to talk about what I project this model to make as far as dollars go. I want to jump into that, and I want to jump into some of the specifics of um, how we can disrupt the photo booth industry with the concept that I've been thinking about that I want to apply just because my ass be reading books all the time and listening to podcasts that revolve around business. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, uh, it's always a pleasure to make these videos for you guys when I do have the chance and the energy to do them. Uh, I should have made this video maybe just a few days right after I got the booth, but life happens and I make other things a priority. But I do appreciate you guys hitting me up with questions and comments uh, just like Michelle Mendoza did. And she really wanted to know more details about the booth. I hope I answered uh, some of the questions you guys are probably thinking about. Um, but if you guys have any additional questions that I didn't get to, Give me an opportunity by leaving it in the comments and I, I don't mind making a secondary video of you know stuff that I invested in because I feel like I have reason why I invested in this and so I'll go ahead and back it up. So make sure you guys leave some comments, help your boy out with a like and um, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. I think the next video is gonna be focused more on how I set up an event on Snapic for this iPad. Um, I think that video would be helpful. So yeah, cool. I love you guys. Take care. Stay safe. Stay positive. All right. Remember what I said. Sometimes it's slow, but then sometimes you get extra busy. And that's just life. Enjoy. Peace.